Hello, my name is Brad Weber and I am the Director of Online Education here at Coffeyville Community College. I would like to welcome you into our online education program. In this video, I will show you how to log into your online course and also provide some pointers in how, into how to be successful in your online course. Coffeyville Community College uses the learning management system Moodle as the software that our online classes are run over. To log into the Moodle software, you will need a couple of numbers. First is your five-digit student ID number. This number can be found on any statements or billings you may have received from our business office. If you cannot find or know this number, you may call our admissions office at 620-252-7155 to obtain your number. The second number will be the last four numbers of your social security number. Let's see if I can help you log on. Okay, the first thing you need to do to log into your class, you do need to come to our website, www.coffeeville.edu. That will bring up our main uh, website for our college. Right under the picture in black, you see there's a link for online classes. We would click into that. Once we're inside that link, to the right here, you see the Moodle icon for our software log onto your course. We would click on the icon and we come to a login page. Uh, this is where you would log in to your courses. Uh, the username we have set up for each of you is your student ID number and I explain that to the right username equals your five digit student ID number that we talked about earlier. Um, you can get this number if you have any uh, billing statements or anything from our business office. If you have anything from our registrar's office, it'll probably have that student ID number on there. Um, if you need to contact our admissions office uh, through the phone number I mentioned earlier to also get your student ID number if you cannot find it anywhere else. Your password initially will be the last four digits of your social security number. So once you put both of those numbers in, your student ID number for your username, last four digits of your social security number for your password and hit login. Once it accepts it, uh, you'll see in the upper right you are logged in as your name. I logged in as a, as a dummy student I created as John Doe. Uh, along uh, the left side you can see some different blocks. Yours may be blank, uh, but you can actually add these yourself. You can customize this page to whatever you would like. In the right where it says edit this page, you can click on that and it probably adds a block page for you. And you can add, these are just defined as blocks, you can add whatever blocks you would like um, to your page. And then you can add them and then you can also delete them if you add them and decide you don't want them. Just click on the red X and it will take them out for you. Your class and or classes should be listed in the middle. Uh, Mr. Doe here is enrolled in basic prevention and care of athletic injuries. Um, oh, one thing I can, uh, while I'm here, if you need to change your password, if you would like to change your password, click, uh, simply click on your name in the top right corner. Uh, it shows you your profile. Right under your profile you see where it says change password. You can hit that and you'll be able to change your password than what you would like. Obviously if you change your password um, you need to remember that. As the admin um, I cannot see what your password is. I can change it back uh, to the last four of your social but I cannot see your password so if you forget and contact me uh, all I will be able to do is change it back to the last four of your social but that is a way to change your password.